But you gotta play Medieval. I think you'd like it. When it gets re-released. Re oh, dude, it's gonna be so awesome. It's gonna be so awesome. Right. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Welcome back to NGTV Play Super Smash Bros. 4. Future myself, Spencer, my co host, Matt. I'm playing as Shulk. Matt's playing as Lucina. And we're here live on twitch.tv slash Gaming TV. And we're playing with the Ultimate Smash 4 mod pack. The Ultimate. Three, <clears throat> two, one, go! Doesn't look that great. Looks better than. Looks like he, like, really worked on his traps. I don't even know what part of the body is the traps. Like your shoulder area? Oh, yeah. Okay, I got you. Than that. The future's not written? Nope. Army, I've won. Immediately after it's run out, you have to wait about 10 seconds. I like how to say about, like, and it's like 10.2. Right. Maybe they left it vague in case patch changed it or something, probably. Yeah, they would just change that in the patch, too. Yeah, but that seems like extra work when they could just be vague. It's, it's text. Till they, we get the smash ultimate and then gets nerfed. Ooh, I'm so good. Roll, roll, roll. Damn it. was talking about like yeah it's like really useful stuff and all that and like yeah but like it's, it's like a weird hitbox like it's like they talk about like it's a long hitbox right but it curves 
his life doesn't curve, but it angles like up. So unless you're hitting like on top of people, they gotta be a little bit up. Survival. And you're not always up. I think you have to do a rising back air. Cause I think if you fast fall it then auto cancels. Yeah, it does. Three, not in a good way. Two, mm -mm. In the one, it doesn't come out way. Why did I continue that? I make it? I think I probably made it. in various directions. Three, two, one. That's stupid. <laughs> oh. I, I, not only did I run off, I also uh, did not get my... I, I didn't do my jump. Like my jump art. I, if I'd run off and then use my jump art, that would be fine. And then up bead? No, use my jump art and then jump and up bead. Why still. did you even go out there? I was dead. I wanted to kill you. <laughs> Three, two, one, go!
Fuck. I'll just put that back. Yeah. I don't like seven people come in and then leave at the same time. I don't know. It's like it's like they're all on like a Discord together and they're just like, let's go fucking let's just like watch stuff together. Like it's the 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 theater mode in Netflix. Yeah. Is that even still around? No. The thing was only on Xbox as well. Three, two, one, go! Xbox 360. I thought you were dead. I also thought I was dead. I have gone out there. I didn't have a jump. Such an intricate, intricate dance of cartoon violence. Yes, it is. Is it going to fit on the on TV? I see you also have the TV in your name. TV Brothers. Oh! Game. Wait, it's... It's Adam. Yeah. It's Adam. I was like, Fatal Neon, that sounds super familiar. I was like, wait a second. Is this Adam? I see you change your name to Fatal Neon. Survival. That's pretty sick. How's it going, man? So I added two. Nice. Believe it or not, Neanderthal Gaming was not taken. We added the TV because of lag TV, of lag TV which used to be StarCraft 2 casters. We were in the StarCraft 2.
You ever play a uh, Smash before? I don't... Oh, and I need to add you to the auto host list. Yeah, I was dead anyways. I'm back on the Wii. You played Brawl? You know, if he was in France, you could pronounce it Batal Neon. Batal Neon. Oh, I was going to suggest, Adam, Go. if you like uh bioshock you should definitely pick up uh prey on steam it is super good it is super good Yeah, it's like probably my favorite. Well, when did Persona come out? Uh, my favorite game that came out last year. Yeah, probably my favorite game of 2017. They have a, uh, a, whatchamafucket, a, it's super kind of like System Shock, Bioshock, um, feel to it. have a, uh, a an ability in there that lets you mimic any object like literally any like any object in the game world at all like a cup yeah or like a banana or a pin or a, like anything and you can solve like you solve you can solve some puzzles like that there's a lot of puzzles where it's like oh you have to unlock this door or yeah. whatever I'm like fuck that I'm just gonna turn into a ball and then roll under it or go through the chain link uh, yeah. fence. And they're coming out with the DLC. They already uh, did. Well, I'm talking about the prop hunt one. Yeah. The, that hasn't oh. released yet. I got to permit you. You know, you, know, you know what happens? Oh, I can't mod them because I'm not in a... Yeah. Yeah. All right, go ahead and post that again. Oh, yeah, Atomic Heart. The game looks sick. Oh, yeah. Permit him again, maybe? Oh, oh there you go. go. Hmm. Yeah. Any of those, like, immersive sim games, I'm, like, super down for. But, like, immersive... Yeah, kind of, very shocky. Uh, what would you call them? Is it? They're called we, immersive sims. Are they called immersive sims? Mm hmm. hmm. Highly recommend Prey.
try. It's like the jump, like really messing up for that. What? Adam, what's your favorite game? You would say. Don't. Bioshock or Infinite? Kill you. Infinite used to be one of my, uh, like my favorite game. Survival. Yeah. Play it again. Yeah. One more. Yeah. I don't think we played it since the first time. Is it released? Mm. Maybe one other time. Shortly after. Yeah. Three, two, one, go! So really enjoyed Brutal Legend. I need to play Brutal Legend. I like Jack Black a lot. Yeah. Let's just charge moves in neutral. Mm, that was dumb. Game. Twelve. You want one more? You can if you want to. No. You want to? Yeah. the first or second Deus Ex game better. We didn't really play that much of Mankind Divided. I mean, I enjoyed Three, Deus Ex. Two, one, go. Human Revolution. Mankind Divided is the second one, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's because we were unable to record it effectively. Yeah. I wonder if it's been optimized since then. Yes. Doom 2016 was good. That was weird. My backslash just went through. What? I fucking did my RP. New Doom is great. Yeah. The music in it is really cool. We watched a uh, documentary about how the guy made it. Crazy. Makes me want to buy an A-string guitar. We just got a uh, new guitar. Oh, yeah. This guitar is weird. It's a Japanese-made Tesco guitar from the 60s. And it's one of these things where it's like, it was kind of a cheaper guitar. And so it's like 
the only types of taste guitars that are ever sought out for are, are, are is just because of their uh, their pickups. There's certain types of taste go pickups that are like gold gold plated or gold wound or something like that. Mm -hmm. But this guitar was made in the '60s and it was sold under a different name called Matador, and it is a weird guitar. Yeah. Like it has a small fret like width on the fretboard. Yeah. Like the the E string is like almost right on top of where the edge would be. Mm -hmm. And it has this uh, this tremolo bar that's like actually a huge range of motion. Nuts. Sounds like not very good distorted. Sounds really good clean. It's a really good clean guitar. I think the reason why it doesn't sound distorted, is, and, and I did some research on it, was uh, the the resistance output on those pickups are kind of lower they're like 3700 and like like matt's uh dirty fingers humbucker pickup in his guitar is like a 14,000. so it just doesn't have the output to really make it sound beefy but it sounds really good clean it's very like i don't know it's like warm but also bell like nice nice yeah, my uh, my stepdad got it for me. He bought it from a friend for like two hundred dollars, and it's worth about two fifty, three hundred dollars right now. It's yeah. just not like a well-known guitar brand because they went out of business in the late '60s, so it just, they just kind of fell into obscurity. I had to do a ton of research to find out what the hell it was because the name's not even the actual maker of the guitar. Yeah, it's a super weird guitar. Cool as hell though. Yeah, it's it's definitely like a one of a, a, a one of a kind type thing pretty cool all right want to call an episode what do you have any thoughts about the matchup um i think this matchup's easier than fox oh yeah and i feel like uh i have more potential to there's a few times if you just kept going you yeah. could have killed me i i don't know why i didn't keep going like i i i did like two fairs and then i could have just kept yeah, you doing just kept going yeah I, I think i had this like built-in fear that you're just going to hit me back faster and so i'm afraid to go out there and then get hit but i'll try to fight past that i guess yeah cool all right well thank you so much for watching uh the uh we're not going offline just yet that's why there's a timer on the bottom left uh but for those who are on youtube thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this episode share it with your friends if you want to see some more subscribe be sure to check us out live on twitch.tv slash and we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Follow a lot of Smash streamers. That's good, man. What's up, Icy? Yeah, I just saw your email saying that you follow. Thanks.